We're on a remote part of the farm here and I've just noticed this ice cream bean tree has suffered a little mishap. It's got a big broken limb and the limb came down and squashed probably five or six coffee trees and it doesn't look too recent maybe within I don't know maybe it's a few months old these trees uh, these ice cream bean trees one of their biggest uses for them is as a shade tree they grow very fast and this tree here is probably you see it's a large tree it's probably only about 10 years old and it's a good 40 feet high and provides a lot of shade. However, you do get mishaps with them, like here. And we've lost other ice cream bean trees because they get hit by lightning. They grow really fast, and they get really tall, and then they get struck by lightning. I think this one just, the limb was weak and maybe a storm or something blew it, blew it over. You can see down here some of the complex root structure that these trees usually show. Here are some of the ice cream beans on the collapsed limb. Unripe ice cream beans. If you look, it's thin and it's dark green and, and hard. Uh, this one is not, you know, this is not a ripe ice cream bean. They'll, they'll have a yellowish color when they're ripe. See, there's quite a few of them. Over here, I can see a ripe one. It's ripe, but some insects got to it first. But you can see the yellowish color. When you see that, that that's a bean that's probably ready to open up. This one here. It's kind of shriveled up along the neck. But you can see the yellowish color and it's it's a little bit plumper a little bit fatter and not quite as hard as an unripe one like this one here so there's ripe and unripe You can see some more of the beans hanging off the tree up there. This is the broken limb going up to the top where it broke off right about right there. And some squashed coffee trees here and here and here. But they look like they're re-sprouting. New shoots, at least, new shoots coming up. So an ice cream bean tree is a great tree if you're in a hot climate, a tropical, you know, a warm climate year round. It's a great tree for shade and it is a very fast growing tree and uh, it does produce some of these ice cream beans. You can eat the white fluff inside or you can even fry up some of the little seeds too if you want.
This white stuff is the stuff you can eat. And inside has these big fat seeds. Kind of has a taste like, well, they say like vanilla ice cream. Just white pithy stuff. And often you can take the seeds out and you can fry them up in a frying pan. And very often, this is an aggressive, fast-growing tree, very often the seeds are sprouting while they're still in the pod. This one has a root coming out and, uh, and I guess uh, what will become a stem here later on. The ice cream bean.